doubleheader in Salt Lake City. The Wildcats will take on either Baylor or Clemson coming up on Thursday. We'll take a break. When we return, we will preview game number two in Salt Lake City between Gonzaga and Kansas. We'll also check the women's tournament scoreboard. Round one continues. 78-68 Arizona over Dayton. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. Progressive presents Renters MVP's Most Valuable Possessions. Today's MVP, Tom Kelly's Carbon Fiber Mountain Bike. Because more than riding his carbon fiber mountain bike, Tom loves telling people about his carbon fiber mountain bike. Friends, family, even a local barista knows about his carbon fiber mountain bike. And that's why Tom's carbon fiber mountain bike, if you haven't heard about it, is today's MVP. Keep your most valuable possessions protected by bundling your renters and auto insurance with Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. The big dance is here. The NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship returns on March 19th. And this year, select games are streaming on max. No matter where you are, you can stream the biggest moments on and off the court from busted brackets to the gut-wrenching upsets and the magical Cinderella stories. Follow the whole tournament and don't miss the Final Four streaming on max April 6th and 8th. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC. Technology helps keep everyone comfortable with a smart thermostat. Turn temperature down. Temperature down. Turn temperature up. Temperature up. But to keep everyone on your team working comfortably, you need more than technology. You need CDW to custom configure Dell Client Solutions devices. Adaptive AI-based software creates a personalized user experience and boosts collaboration so they can stay cool and collected. Temperature down. Temperature up. I'm staying out of this. Dell Client Solutions make adaptive performance possible. CDW makes it powerful. Learn more at cdw.com slash Dell Client. Welcome back to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the men's basketball tournament from the Verizon Studios. I'm Brad Heller. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Arizona, the first team on to the Sweet 16. The Wildcats, the two seed in the West, beating Dayton 78-68. to Game number two in Salt Lake City. It'll be the 4-5 matchup in the Midwest. A couple of powerhouses at Kansas and Gonzaga, interesting spot for Mark Few and the Bulldogs. It's rare that the Zags are the lower-seeded team, especially in round two. Yeah, this has been a nice change, to be honest with you. From my standpoint, you just kind of fly under the radar and just kind of do your thing, and then it certainly probably fits my personality better, but uh, it'd be also nice to have five pros on your team and steamrolling everybody, too. Those are some pretty good days also. Gonzaga and Mark Few looking to get to a ninth consecutive Sweet 16. Gonzaga, Kansas, that is game number two in Salt Lake City. Round one of the women's tournament in action right now. Already wins for UConn and Tennessee. Big wins. Caitlin Clark and Iowa underway. The one seed against the 16 seed Holy Cross. 3-0. The Hawkeyes have the early lead there. Notre Dame a two on top of the 15 seed Kent State. 49-30 at halftime. Indiana up big on Fairfield. 77-52. That's a 4-13 matchup. Five minutes to go in that one. Again, your final score in Salt Lake City, Arizona, the two seed in the West, is headed to Los Angeles in the Sweet 16. The Wildcats beat the seven seed Dayton 78 to 68. We'd like to thank our crew, studio coordinator Dennis Stemplinski, associate producers Nick Pope and Dan Silverman, production assistants provided by Drew Casey, James McMenamin, and Michael Martinez, engineer Parker Morris, producer George Wallace, production supervisor Aaron Cummins, Coordinating producers Brian Finkelstein and Mike Eby, and the executive producer is Howard Deneroff. Today's broadcast of the NCAA Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network has been sponsored by Wendy's, by Barbasol Shaving Cream, by Verizon, by Granger, by Cintas, and by NCAA.com. 
More exciting action coming up from Salt Lake City. It'll be Kansas and Gonzaga, the 4-5 matchup in the Midwest. Coverage starts 3.25 p.m. Eastern. A reminder that you can listen to every tournament game via the free Varsity Network and NCAA March Madness apps or with TuneIn Premium and on SiriusXM. Online, you can find us at westwoodonesports.com and NCAA.com. And on any Alexa-enabled device, you can choose which game you want to listen to. Just say open Westwood One Sports. Again, your final score, Arizona 78 and Dayton 68. Now for Dave Pash and P.J. Carlissimo, I'm Brad Heller. Thank you for joining us. You've been listening to exclusive coverage of the 2024 Men's Basketball Championship on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Ultimate pass on the field and in the stands. Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84. Slash NCAA. Arizona, the two seed in the West, moves to LA. They will get either Baylor or Clemson. That's the 3 6 matchup tomorrow in Memphis. The Pac 12 is 6 and 0. Oh. The league coming off one of its best football seasons in a long time, and what we all know is the last year of the league. Has not lost a game yet in this field. And we've got more teams still to go with the conference. Oregon later on today. Colorado uh, is there as well. And Washington State plays today, too. All right, we're getting you set. Kansas and Gonzaga opening tip in a little bit more than 15 minutes. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Need a little help? O'Reilly Auto Parts can help. Need advice? We've got advice. No matter what you need, we have thousands of professional parts people doing their part to make sure you have it. Exceptional customer service. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. The new song from Garth Brooks and Ronnie Dunn, Rodeo Man, is out now. Pull up them birds, leaves me down in that shoe. You tie me on tight, get it all on one good ride. Oh, man. Available now. I'm standing courtside where this team is about to celebrate a staggering win here in the fourth quarter. I just spoke with the team captain who told me they owe it all to Coles, where fans found the license gear, game day hosting fines, and other essentials they needed to rally this team to victory. He said, quote, great brands, great prices. Discover it all at Coles and Coles.com. Back to you. All right, Jason Horowitz, back with you here in our Westwood One studios in Los Angeles, 14 minutes away from getting you back to tip off game two in Salt Lake City between Kansas and Gonzaga. But don't forget, Westwood One is also your home for the women's basketball tournament from the Sweet 16 all the way to the national championship in Cleveland. The first round continues on the women's side. Caitlin Clark's got her tournament underway. It's early. Iowa on its home floor is a one seed. Trailing Holy Cross six to five. They're four minutes in to that ball game. Earlier today, Tennessee with a 92-63 win over Green Bay. They are in Raleigh in the North Carolina State Pod. The Wolfpack leading Chattanooga 24-17. That is right before halftime. UConn at home, 86-64, beat Jackson State. They uh move on to the second round. Michigan and Kansas playing in an eight-nine game. Wolverines leading the Jayhawks. 46 39 240 to go in the third quarter among some of the scores meanwhile kansas is about to get going on the men's side as well against gonzaga 
And for the Zags, they have gotten very accustomed to being a one or a two seed. In fact, since 2017, this is just the second time that Gonzaga is a lower seed in the game for Mark Few. Coach, let's go back. Coach, let's go back. Yeah, this has been a nice change, to be honest, with from my standpoint. You just kind of fly under the radar and just kind of do your thing, and then it certainly probably fits my personality better. But uh, it would be also nice to have five pros on your team and steamrolling everybody, too. Those are some pretty good days also. Yeah, he's, he's had a bunch of those and a couple of times to the national championship game as well. And remember, the last time the title game was in Arizona, Gonzaga was there against North Carolina. But to do that, they got to beat Kansas and Bill Self, who built a large lead against Sanford the other night, only to see the Bulldogs come all the way back to get within one and then hold them off for a four-point win. Bill Self with Dave Passion, P.J. Carlesimo. Coach, let's go back to the first round. And just when you went back and watched the film, given that it was such a crazy game, probably felt like four hours, what stood out to you the most? I think it was over three. Uh, you know you know what? Uh, uh, I'm, I've been worried about the Zags. I haven't watched the film. And, and uh, you know, because I, I think Gonzaga plays fast offensively, but they're not going to play like that defensively. So I hadn't even watched it. i just been watching uh, a Gonzaga tape. But I, th I think the thing that stood out to me, A, proud of our guys with playing only seven guys uh, or six guys, basically, to get through the game when there's it's a fast-paced game. Also feel very fortunate because, you know, they had a lot of things go right to get it to one from 22. But still, we had some things go right for us to allow us to win. So so I, I feel very fortunate moving on. But I, I, I told the media afterwards, you know, you know, I'd, I, I'd never played against Bucky Ball, and I just sure as hell hope I don't for a while because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Bill, what's the, the biggest challenge that Gonzaga presents to you? They play so fast. I mean, Sanford scored 85 points a game. Well, Gonzaga scores 86 and plays conventional. You know, so 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 you you got to be able to guard. Uh, uh, you got to be able to defensive rebound. And and the other thing is they'll gap you defensively and to force you to score over the top. So you know it, they're good. And it's going to be a, uh, you got to make some shots. And they'll get a good home crowd too. I, I would assume. So so uh, we we're going to have to be really really good tomorrow. Uh, 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 but I know our guys are really excited about it. Bill, you've done this. Way better than I ever did, but the Saturday Sundays to me was always such a challenge. After you had time, everything seemed so orderly for the Thursday or Friday game, and then usually it was a better opponent. And here you come, and you got a day to get ready, if that. You know, the, the, there is an advantage of being a one seed and a two seed in the NCAA tournament, even though it's been proven that the 15 and 16s can win a game. But the reality is, when you're a one seed, you can prepare for the second game. You know, one okay. On Monday we're practicing against the eight seed. On Tuesday we're practicing against the the nine seed. On Wednesday we're practicing against the sixteen seed. Now I'm going into this game with twenty minutes to get ready for Gonzaga. Even though we've watched tape and everything, but when you play, when the game's over at midnight and you're practicing the next day and your next game's at one one thirty or whatever time it is, you know I think the the key is getting them off their feet. So so. Uh, to me, that's what's hard. You know, you get into a routine where you're prepping for people, and really the preparation on the second game is more about players playing than it is about tweaking. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Good luck. Let's go back to the studio. All right, guys, thank you very much. Yeah, they, they certainly will need to do that because they played a long, grueling game the other day. Uh, Doug, they're short. Kevin McCullough, we've known that coming into the tournament. They played a lot of games without him the last six or seven weeks. What do you like is the keys to Gonzaga and Kansas coming up? Well, Kansas has to be better in their ball screen coverage. If you have watched Gonzaga, one of the things Mark Few's teams are known for, they're very good offensively, and they're very good at using the ball screen to turn the corner and to get their two big guys with their best offensive weapons, uh, the basketball. And Kansas just was not very good at it. Um, some of that is the lineup, some of that is the perimeter defenders, and some of that is you know, Hunter Dickinson doesn't move particularly well, so he... They play him in the drop, but he's just kind of a sitting duck back there. So I think how that how they how Kansas defends because it's it's a struggle to be physical because you're worried about foul trouble. They have no be no depth, no bench at all. Um, conversely, for Gonzaga, they don't have a ton off their bench. They got a lot from Dusty Stromer, the freshman from Southern California, last game. So neither team has a has a deep bench. I think the question now becomes 
Where else does Kansas get the scoring from the perimeter? It's not a great three-point shooting team to begin with. Then you eliminate Kevin McCuller, who's 18 a night and a good shooter to be, as well. And suddenly there's not just a, a ton of space for K.J. Adams, your power forward, or for Hunter Dickinson, your center. Opening tip coming up in about seven minutes. We'll get you back to Salt Lake City on the other side. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Yo, it's Jacob Hester from Off Campus on College Sports Radio. For full breakdowns of this game and more, tune in weekdays from 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern on Channel 84 or anytime on the SiriusXM app. Led by 23 at halftime, take on a Kansas team that led by 22 in its first round game against Sanford, but was up one with three seconds left and pulled had, away at the end. Had to hang on. So this is a matchup, P.J., of... Uh, two powerhouse programs. Kansas won the championship two years ago, but that's their only Sweet 16 since 2019. Meanwhile, Gonzaga's made it to the Sweet 16 eight straight years. Uh, you have to know about, are these teams blue bloods? Well, Kansas got an earlier start. This is their 52nd NCAA, 34 consecutive. Zags with a little bit of a late start. It's only their 26th, 25th consecutive. Two of the best coaches we have in the country in college basketball mark few and bill self what a tremendous matchup only thing really missing kevin mcculler the great player for ku but this could be a war without mcculler what's the biggest challenge that kansas faces because obviously gonzaga while sanford put up a fight is a more talented team. They got to score points, believe it or not. Uh, Gonzaga scores a lot more. They're just a tick under 85 points a game. Kansas goes at about 76. So how do you make up for McCullers? Their leading score, he gets 18 a game. And he makes threes. He shoots 45 from the field. He also gives him six boards, and he's a big assist man. So you're losing an All-American player. That's not easy to do. Fortunately, if you're Bill Self, they got another one, Hunter Dickinson, one of the best bigs in the entire country. Although Dickinson dislocated his shoulder the final regular season game, he missed the Big 12 tournament but bounced back with 20 rebounds, 19 points, 4 blocks in their first round win. There's no shortage of talent on either of these teams. The experience factor is great, but you have everybody stepping up one level if you're Kansas. It's one thing to lose a starter who's your third, fourth, maybe fifth best player. When you lose somebody who's your best or your second best player, you're asking the other guys to really pick it up a notch. Nick Timberlake was up to that challenge the other day. He and Furphy have got to do it this afternoon. Kansas and Gonzaga coming up from the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. Sirius XM is your home for all the madness of March. The ultimate upset has happened. Every buzzer beater and bracket buster. Long three for the win. Oh, makes it home. As well as in-depth analysis before and after game. It is incredible how valuable every single possession is. Can be heard on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84, and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Find out where to hear Westwood One's call of your school at SiriusXM.com slash sports. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. 
Finding quality candidates for your small business is no Little League game, but Indeed can help you cover all your hiring bases. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Over the last seven years, only one team has more NCAA tournament wins than Kansas, and that's Gonzaga. They meet right now, and it's time for PJ's Keys to the Game, sponsored by the members of the National Association of Realtors. There's a lot to buying a home, negotiations, inspections, timelines. Realtors have the expertise to guide you through the process. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Well, for Bill Self and his Kansas Jayhawks, they got to control tempo. Yeah, they like to run. They're top 40 in the country in fast break points, but their transition defense will be tested. They've got to limit turnovers. They're a little, not a lot, a little bit sloppy, but Gonzaga's excellent taking care of the ball. Physical inside. They've got a defense defensive rebound against an excellent rebounding team in the Zags and they need some threes surprisingly neither of these teams are big three-point shooting teams if somebody can get it going from outside that will be big for Mark Fuse Gonzaga Bulldogs they got to make Hunter Dickinson work no easy thing he's a very talented big I think Bill Self will really feature him this afternoon they got to rebound and run that's how they like to play they scored just under 85 a game they want the quick tempo and just like the Jayhawks they need some threes neither of these teams really live on that three-point line let's check the starting lineup sponsored by Cintas work days are better when you partner with Cintas keep your team protected prepared and looking great visit Cintas.com and get ready for the work day for Gonzaga the five seed in the Midwest region, Ryan Nemhard, Nolan Hickman, Graham E.K., Anton Watson, who finished one assist shy of a triple-double in the Water opening game. round, and Ben Gregg. That was uh, one of the changes Mark Few made midseason, going to Ben Gregg in the starting lineup. They've only lost twice since. Kansas, Hunter Dickinson, Nicholas Timberlake, you touched on P.J. He replaces Kevin McCullough. He had 19 points against Sanford. He averaged five per game during the season. Furphy and K.J. Adams, the other starters. Bill Self's already in the Hall of Fame. Mark Few at some point will be in the Hall of Fame Very for what he's shortly. done at Gonzaga. Two national title game appearances. And assistant coach to Steve Kerr on our Olympic team headed to Paris this summer. What a great matchup. A little blue in the stands, but again, red's a third color for both of these teams. More blue than red now, but still a lot of Arizona and Dayton fans, they want to watch this game. This is potentially a heck of a basketball game against two heavyweights. Time for the opening tip-off, sponsored by Progressive. Protect your home and auto, save when you bundle. Get a quote at Progressive.com. Kansas in all white. Blue trim and the Jayhawk on the left thigh, moving right to left. Gonzaga... The dark blue, white trim will go left to right. Kansas ball to start the game as Dewan Harris wins the tap and brings it across the timeline. Moving to his right. The rough Big 12 campaign for Kansas. Worst record under self. Dickinson left wing, long two, in and out. Rebound Nemhard, the transfer from Creighton. He had nine assists in the opening round. Nemhard in the front court, off the screen, moving to his right. Left hand dribble. Has a pick to his left. Finds Watson, high post left. Now Nemhard, top of the key. Pulls up and shoots a three that's no good. And flying in there to get the rebound is Timberlake, an excellent athlete. Very slow possession for Gonzaga, uncharacteristic of the Zags. Harris holding near midcourt. They're going to put Watson on him. So Harris is giving up about seven inches to Watson. Deep pass over the head of Dickinson, low post left. And out of bounds, minute into the game, no score yet. Yeah, freshman Johnny Furphy, that was not a good pass. He got away with some passes the other day. Uh, incredible. They, they Turnovers, obviously, is what was the difference in the game against Sanford, but Furphy's got to take better care of the ball. Hickman on the far side. Uses a screen to his right, stops the dribble, fires underneath. E.K. low post left, his shot no good. The tip, though, is by 
Anton Watson, who came soaring in to put it back. I'll tell you who I want to see hooked up is Anton Watson underneath against K.J. Adams. Backdoor feed, Harris, short jumper left baseline off the mark. Rebound, Greg, and Zaga looking to run. Watson a little slow to get back. Entry pass, E.K., turnaround jumper. Got it over Dickinson from eight feet on the left side of the lane. Well contested by Hunter Dickinson. Tough shot for Graham E.K. 4-0, Gonzaga, two minutes into the game. Harris across the timeline, met by Watson. Around the screen, hits Adams on the cut. Kick out right wing, Furphy puts up the three. Off the front rim, no, and no white shirts under the basket. Easy rebound for Watson. Him hard in the front court on the right side. 4-0 Gonzaga, Watson at the free throw line, shoots from there, and knocks it down. 6-0 Gonzaga, timeout Bill Self. Bill Self's seen enough, he doesn't want this to be, he want, doesn't want him to be playing from behind that much this early. A turnover they didn't like, a missed three they didn't like. Again, I keep talking about these teams don't shoot threes. Believe it or not, Gonzaga, 222 in three-point, three-pointers made. Kansas 321. They just don't do it. 6 nothing Gonzaga. Two minutes in from the Westwood 1 NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. <coughs> oh, this cold. Honey? Honey? Honey, you need DayQuil Severe Honey. DayQuil Severe Honey gives you powerful cold and flu symptom relief with a honey-licious taste. Because life doesn't stop for a cold. Okay, I'm ready to go. <coughs> Ugh, no, I'm getting a cold. Honey. Try DayQuil Severe Honey for powerful cold and flu relief. DayQuil Severe with honey flavor. The daytime coughing, aching, stuffy head, fever, honeylicious, power through your day, medicine. Use as directed. Keep out of reach of children. The Whatever job you need to do out there, grab the right tool to get it done. The new F-150 with an available hybrid engine and up to 7.2 kilowatts of pro power on board to power things on the go. It's not a tool you'll hang in a tool shed, but you can certainly use it to build one. The new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024. Optional features the owner's manual for important operating instructions. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Did you hear that? That's what an estimated 500 horsepower sounds like. Go, give it to you. How about that? That's a premium banging Olufsen sound system with 18 speakers. ZDX Type S. Give up. Order next. of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One, sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave single for just a dollar and a Dave double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. What did Bill Self not like that quickly? His team's 0 for 3. They've given up six points in the paint already, and they have the only turnover in the game. A little three-quarter court pressure from the Zags. KU handles it easily. 17.45 to play first half. Left wing Furphy, dump down Dickinson, low post left. Back to the basket, trying to back down EK. Now they double, he kicks it out. Furphy open three left wing shoots and scores. Swishing through, first points for the Jayhawks. They went inside to Dickinson, no question about that, but I like Furphy, misses his first shot, knocks that one down confidently. He had 16 points, eight rebounds in the first round. Hickman drives underneath EK, puts it off the window and in from the left side. Eight paint points, really nice dish from Nolan Hickman. 8-3, two minutes, 45 seconds in. Harris top of the circle, swing to Timberlake, dump it down, 
Adams fires to Furphy. He'll drive, gets down the lane. Layup is good off the glass, plus a foul. So a three-point chance for Furphy, who has all five for Kansas. I got to brag on my guy, NBA Academy, center of excellence in Australia. Really reclassified. He's a very young freshman, and he's handled the pressure of playing for the Jayhawks very, very well. They get Ben Gregg for the foul, the first in the game. Furphy is 77% free throw shooter. Averaged about nine points per game. Doubled that basically in round one. The foul shot is good, and it's 8-6. Gonzaga leads three minutes uh, three minutes gone by, I should say, in the first half. Nemhard into the forecourt on the left side. Fires to Hickman, right wing. Now to the right corner, Watson. Entry pass to the low post right to EK. Backing down Dickinson. Turns left and travel. Turnover. Good job by Hunter Dickinson. He didn't go for the pump fake. He knew Graham EK was coming back to that right shoulder so he could shoot the little lefty turnaround. And Kansas without its leading score. Kevin McCullough will not play the entire tournament due to an injury. Missed six of the final 12 games before the tournament. Kansas ball, front court to our left. Adams downhill. Gets in the paint, stripped by Hickman, out of bounds. Going to stay with the Jayhawks. That was interesting. There was some contact, but they let it go. How about major contact? A.J. Adams knocked. Was it Nolan Hickman? He knocked somebody down underneath the basket. That was no Hickman. call. Harris inbounds, baseline left, lobs it up. Adams catches, missed it the first time, but got it the second. Off the glass to tie the game at eight. Three and a half minutes in. A.J. Adams is so strong inside, and he's always jumping vertically, so he's in position to catch misses. Heckman's pass underneath, intercepted Harris, Kansas ball. Tie game, eight apiece, five straight points for the Jayhawks. Driving right side, Harris, his pass kicked. 16-12 in the game clock. The amazing things about Gonzaga is how efficient they are offensively. Despite scoring 85 a game, they do not turn the ball over normally. Under 10 turnovers a game. One of the best in the country. Timberlake, three left side. It's good. Kansas on an 8-0 run, and it's 11-8 Jayhawks. Who needs Kevin McCuller? We got Timberlake and Furphy. Timberlake played so well in the first round and added again here early on with 15.50 to go. Nemhard love underneath. Oh, what a catch and finish with his back to the rim on the near side of the rim by Anton Watson. Wow. Reverse dunk. Harris on the other end. Front court to our left. Finds Timberlake. Gets in the paint. Scores with a push shot from eight feet. 13-10 Jayhawks. Timberlake a lot more athletic, quick, and good hops than you would anticipate. 15-25 to play. First half. Nemhard on the far side. Dribbles to the middle of the floor. Watson now on the left wing. Puts it on the deck. Backing down his man. K.J. Adams. Watson got deep in the post. And they're going to call... I don't know if it's a double foul at the free throw line, it looks like. Yeah, double foul called there. Dickinson got tangled up. We'll see who the uh, Gonzaga player that was called for the foul. Both coaches looking perplexed by the call. Keith Kimball's over explaining it to the uh, PA announcer. So it's, Whatever Bill Self told his team during that quick timeout, it settled the Jayhawks, no question about that, Dave. All right, we'll come back, sort this out. 13-10 Kansas, 15-15 remaining. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One, NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for occurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, College Hoops fans, it's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 dollars off every door just text march to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down no payments and no interest for a year that's right you don't pay a dime for an entire year text march to 323232 right now to save 377 dollars off every window and 777 dollars off every door but hurry these big dollar savings won't last long text march to 323232 before the savings madness ends at Progressive, we know money can't buy happiness, but money did buy your boat, where you find peace fishing, 
unlike at home with three teenage daughters. Because fish never argue about who stole whose crop top or get mad the other fish used up all the hot water. No, they just swim around, never embarrassed to be seen with you in public. So save money by bundling your boat or RV insurance with Home or Auto from Progressive and buy more happiness or something close to it. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Keep your tires looking like new with superior coverall tire shine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Our professional parts people can help you choose the right detailing supplies for your vehicle. And right now, get two bottles of superior coverall tire shine for just $18. See store for details. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Pluto TV won't cost you a thing because everything is free. So if you want to watch Braveheart, Mean Girls, or The Price is Right, well, The Price is Right, it's free. Just download the app, which, by the way, is also free. Pluto TV. Stream now. Pay never. Welcome back to our Granger courtside seats at the Delta Center with PJ Carlissimo. I'm Dave Pash. Keep your team moving forward with Granger. With over a million products, including hard-to-find items, Granger can help your business get a leg up. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Uh, Keith Kimball, the officials over talking to Hunter Dickinson and Graham E.K., the bigs, they kind of, it wasn't a dust-up. They're kind of pushing each other, a little thing. I would have preferred that he blew the whistle and warned them, don't give them both the foul. you got two of the major players in the game now saddled with the personal foul each. 15-15 left, first half, 13-10 Kansas. Gonzaga ball, front court to our right. Hickman on the left side, bounce to E.K., baseline left, puts up the shot, it's short. And it's rebounded by Adams of Kansas. Harris quickly into the forecourt on our left side. Dribbling at the March Madness logo. Being defended by Hickman. Uses a screen to his right. Now Timberlake. High low feed. Catch by Dickinson. Low post left. Turns left shoulder. Puts it up and in on the baseline. And it's 15 to 10 Kansas. Kansas has really settled down since that first time out. They've made their last four shots. Gonzaga's made five of its last six. Hickman right elbow. Out to Nemhart. 14 and a half remaining here first half. Nemhart throws to Watson. A three is up from the right side. He missed it. E.K. got the offensive rebound underneath. Dickens has got to be careful not to pick up that second foul. And E.K. puts it back up and in off the glass. Both of the bigs stepping up early for these two teams. Both these teams like to run. Gonzaga even more, but in fast break points, they're 14 and a half, top 20 in the country. Kansas not too far behind, over 13. They're top 40 in the country. 15-12, Kansas leading. Dickinson drives, pass out to Harris, left wing. He'll try a three, and he knocks it down. 18-12, Jayhawks, 13-50 to play, first half. Nemhard into the front court, shovel pass to Watson on the right side. Gives to Greg, who drives down the middle of the lane, leans in, gets it to fall off the window, and a foul, a three-point chance for Greg. And Greg had Johnny Furphy on him. He took him to the basket. On the side of the floor to our right, the Gonzaga basket, get the matchup that I'm really liking, K.J. Adams guarding Anton Watson. You got two strong, athletic, talented players really going at each other. Foul was on Furphy, so Greg at the line. Later on, we'll select the coaching move of the day, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get the parts and service you need fast for the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Respective bigs both on the bench getting a rest right now. Green E.K. for the Zags, Hunter Dickinson for the Jayhawks. And the officials having a conversation. I think just uh, letting the scores table know that it's one shot. I think. One mistakenly said two. So Greg trying to complete the three-point play. Missed a free throw. And it's rebounded by Parker Brown of Kansas. 13 and a half to go. Here's a lob to Adams down court. And he throws it down on the right side of the rim. That caught Kansas off guard. They didn't see an alley-oop coming off a missed free throw. Then Greg was standing right next to him. And K.J. Adams just elevated over the top. Now low left, the shot on the way is no good from Huff, but he's fouled. He caught it deep right, went under the basket, picked up the foul on Kansas, the third team foul. Mark Few standing at half court, pointing to someone that don't know who it was. It may have been Greg. He's saying, get back. They did not get back far enough. 
against KJ Adams. Brown picked up the personal. Free throw is good from Braden Huff. He's only a 51% free throw shooter. 20 to 15, Kansas. 13 22 to play, first half. 4 5 matchup in the Midwest region. Winner goes to Detroit. Second free throw good. Good on both of those. That looked like a nice stroke. Winner will play either Purdue or Utah State on Friday in Michigan. 20 to 16, Jayhawks. Brown right elbow, hands it off for Furphy, top of the circle, drives left hand through the lane, lost the ball, and it regathers in the near corner. Shot clock down to nine. Harris on the left wing, stopped his dribble with five, finds Adams at the free throw line, he'll shoot from there, and it's good, 22 to 16, Kansas. AJ Adams pounded himself on the chest, he's off to a good start. Jump ball, oh boy. No, no, no. Nemhart got caught in the air. There was contact with the ball by a Kansas player for all of a second, and they said, held ball, possession arrow does favor Gonzaga. He was in the air, and they had the hands on it, but before he came down, he got rid of the pass. There was a jump. He ripped it away and made a pass. Hickman right baseline, one-handed push is good from 10 feet. 12 and a half to go, 22-18, Kansas leads. Only a little harm done, but they lost the arrow. Gonzaga, eight of its last ten, Kansas, seven of its last eight. Driving and missing is Adams about four feet away. He hit the deck hard, slow to get up, but back into defensive position on his man, Anton Watson. Huff on the left wing, 12.20 to go. Gonzaga ball down four, Huff backing down. Brown goes to the jump hook, and it's off the back rim, no. And rebound by Furphy of KU. Gonzaga clearly the bigger team, usually the better rebounding team. And then Harris collides with a Gonzaga player, and they just rule that it was out of bounds. Baseline left off of Harris, but and I guess that's the right call. Nemhard stood his ground. Didn't move. Bill Self's got a big smile on his face, but I don't really think he thinks it's that funny talk, talking to the official Brent Hampton right now. 22 to 18, Kansas. 11.55 to play first half. Hickman in between the circles. As a screen to his right, stopped his dribble. Fires back to Nemhard, knocked into the backcourt by Timberlake, who dives on the floor. Shot clock at seven as Nemhard gets it, races into the front court, fires underneath, and it's intercepted by Adams of Kansas. Adams running the court right to left. Right wing pass, three pointer, no good from Timberlake. Furphy got the offensive rebound. Now a pass underneath to Adams. Got stripped out of bounds. Baseline left. It's going to stay Kansas ball. Anton Watson made the strip. And he's talking to his teammates. Said, you got to get on the glass. Mark Few's upset. Johnny Furphy just out hustled Huff and Greg to the rebound. Break in action. 22-18. Kansas over Gonzaga. 11-27 remaining in the first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA radio network. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you're rolling Charmin, don't you soft on the party. This is most of roll it back and For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. 
All right, people, let's get this meeting started. Where are the chairs? Gone. Research shows standing meetings are quicker. What uh, research is that? Topic one. CDW helped us deploy Max Supercharged by Apple Silicon for the way we work now. So how's their speed? Fast. Battery life? Long. Cyber threat protection? Strong. Ownership costs? Low. Great. This meeting Adjourned. is... Adjourned. Wow, that was fast. Yep, that's the research. With Mac configured by CDW, a solution that works for everyone isn't just possible, it's powerful. Find out more at cdw.com slash get Mac. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, your home for the national championships. Christopher Russo here. Mad Dog Sports Radio live during every game of the NCAA tournament. React to every upset on Channel 82 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Time for the Coles back to the game. It's just the third all-time meeting between Kansas and Gonzaga. Gonzaga won in 1998, lost in 2020. So the series even won a piece. That's the fact of the game sponsored by Coles. It's a new season at Coles and fresh everyday styles for you and your home at great prices. Shop Coles and Coles.com today. Two, it's too early to call them trends, but two numbers big time in favor of Kansas. Four offensive rebounds. So lob over the top to KJ. He missed the shot, though. Offensive rebound, Harris. That worked earlier. Now Dickinson left. Elbows. Jumper is off target. Battle for the loose ball. Furphy comes out of there with it. Six offensive rebounds for the Jayhawks already. They average eight for a game. They got six in about nine minutes. They also have three threes, and they average about five and a half a game. Exactly, and those were the numbers. Harris missed from the free throw line and finally cleared by Anton Watson. Nemhard into the forecourt, stops, pops, misses from 12 from the middle of the lane, rebound Dickinson. One of the reasons the Zags can't run is they can't defensive rebound so far. Adams on the attack, call for the offensive foul. Anton Watson took a shot, I think, to the lower midsection as an offensive foul is called on K.J. Adams with 10.48 to play first half, 22-18, to 18, Kansas leads. Neither of these teams can afford K.J. Adams or Anton Watson off the floor. Well, Marco Jackson checking in for Kansas. They need him to be better than he was in the first run at five turnovers in that game. Yeah, he was very, very loose with his passing against a team that was exceptional defensively, Sanford. Off right wing, lets it fly. Three is off target. Timberlake way up there for the rebound. One and done for the Zags. Timberlake with the ball, top of the circle. Fires to the left corner. Now Dickinson, low post left, turns left. Goes back to his left shoulder and puts up a wild shot. Air ball, rebound, Nemhard. Good defense by Huff, battle of the lefty big man. Nemhard right wing in the front court to our right. 10 minute mark, 22 18, Kansas leading. Jayhawks are 0 for their last seven. Gonzaga hasn't scored in two and a half minutes. That was after both teams were hot for about a three or four minute span. Hickman penetrates right of the lane, blocked from behind. Cleaned up by Watson, but he missed the shot low right, then out of bounds with five on the shot clock. And it's going to stay with Gonzaga. Baseline right, but again, just five to shoot. Gonzaga finally getting a little active on the offensive glass. I thought that would be a big plus for the Zags. Not so far. Nemhard will inbound under the basket to our right. Tried to bounce it to Watson. It was kicked. That's going to help. Is Fortunate. Seven, yeah, yep. Shot clock 20 now. 9.58 on the game clock. Three from the left wing goes down from Huff on the inbound pass. Dickinson was just too far away from Huff. He's too good a three-point shooter to let stand there like that. Kansas within one. Jay, or excuse me, Gonzaga within one. Kansas hasn't scored in three minutes and 15 seconds. Timberlake's three, left wing, too strong. Rebound Hickman, and now the Zags can take the lead. Hickman driving left of the lane, out of control. Kicks it out to Nemhard on the right side. Nemhard's got Dickinson on him. Let's see if he tries to take him. Stopped his dribble, almost traveled. Hickman left wing, lob for Huff. About 18 feet away on the left side. Kicks to Hickman. Go back to Huff. Turns baseline, ball knocked away, gathers it. Nemhard driving, middle of the lane, floater, back rim no, Timberlake rebounds. Is that mismatch you talked about, he went by Hunter Dickinson but couldn't finish. Timberlake got a shot, blocked, Stromer with the rejection, Gonzaga ball, 22-21, to the basket, Watson 
Got the shot blocked, missed the layup. Loose ball, Hickman picks it up, puts it up from the middle of the lane. He can't get it to fall. Dickinson rebounds. Three-quarter court outlet to Harris. But Gonzaga got back defensively with 8.45 to go, 22-21. Kansas leading. Hey. And Dickinson drives and scores with a lefty layup. That ends a stretch of nine straight misses from the floor for the Jayhawks. They faked a handoff to Dewan Harris and just continued on to the basket. Left wing, Hickman open, pulls the trigger. It's good, a three. And the game is tied at 24 apiece with 8.20 remaining in the first half. Gonzaga able to quicken the pace a little bit right now. That's how they want to play. This game has suited Kansas in terms of tempo so far. Front court to our left. Jackson's got the ball top of the key. Behind the back dribble, stops, shoots the ball from 12 feet, way off, but knocked out of bounds by two Gonzaga players on the baseline left. It's not an individual offensive rebound, but it's another offensive rebound nonetheless for Kansas, a team offensive rebound. They are really doing some damage on the offensive glass. 8.06 to play first half, game tied at 24 apiece. Kansas shooting 50% from three, Gonzaga 40%, 40% overall for Kansas, 48% for the Zags. EK back on the floor for the Zags. Inbound pass to Brown, now Adams with it, top of the key. Hits Harris, drives into the lane, stripped, but a foul called on EK, and that's two on him because of that double foul. Which I did not like and like less now. And timeout with eight minutes remaining. That's the third team foul on the Zags. So it's a 24-24 score with eight to play in the first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up spills quicker. And each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So you can get back to your night. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Progressive presents 10 things on a food truck owner's to-do list that are harder than getting a commercial auto insurance quote. Stocking the fridge, prepping the stations, finding employees that get along well, finding employees that actually do their job. Looking at you, Gary. Balancing the books, balancing the flavors, having a fresh menu and fresh produce and fresh meat, but never a fresh mouth. But the easiest thing on a small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you can save on commercial auto insurance. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Coverage subject to policy terms and conditions. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or T-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. The less your business spends, the more margin you keep. But today, everything costs more. So smart businesses are graduating to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system, bringing accounting, financial management, inventory, HR into one proven platform, helping you reduce IT costs, maintenance costs, and manual errors. Over 37,000 companies have already made the move to NetSuite. Now through April 15th, NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. NetSuite.com slash hoops. Brad Heller back in the Verizon studios in Los Angeles. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Arizona, the first team on to the Sweet 16. The Wildcats beat Dayton 78-68. The Pac-12, a perfect 6-0. Round one of the women's tournament. Iowa up on Holy Cross 45-27 late in the first half. Caitlin Clark, 2 of 8 shooting. She does have 12 points. Big wins for UConn, Tennessee, and Indiana. Let's get you back to Salt Lake City. We rejoin Dave Pash and P.J. Carlissimo. 24-24, Gonzaga and Kansas. A spot on the Sweet 16 in Detroit on the line. Looked like it was going to be a high-scoring game early, but both teams have gone cold. Gotten really cold right now. Both teams struggling to score. Gonzaga struggling to defensive rebound, which could ignite their fast break game. Kansas won for its last 11. Got the ball at the left elbow. Harris kicks to Adams driving into the lane. Hands for Harris, and he puts up the shot. It bounces around and drops from about 13 feet. A lot of players in a 
small area together for Kansas, but they're able to get the basket. They're back up two with 7.40 to play in the first half. Nemhard five assists, finds Greg, left wing, his three is up and good, and Gonzaga takes the lead. Sixth assist for Nemhard. Jamari McDowell came down funny on that last play. I'm interested in watching him, whether he's okay. Seems to be limping. He's got the ball between the rings. 26, 27-26, uh, Gonzaga in front, 7.15 on the clock in the first half. Jackson into the paint. Back out to Harris. Shot clock down to six, firing underneath through the hands of Brown. That was a, a hard pass to handle. Bullet by Harris out of bounds, baseline left. Man was open, but he put not a little, a lot too much on that. That would have been a tough catch for anybody. You mentioned it looked like Alexander, or McDowell rather, wasn't right. They're going to look at him on the, on the Kansas bench. He's out, back in the game. Long-time trainer Bill Cowgill, he's pointing to his knee. I can't see whether it's, I think it's his left knee. Furphy back in the game. Underneath, great pass that time by Nemhard to the basket by Huff. Seven assists and a three-point Zags lead. Pick and roll coverage blown by Kansas. No communication on that one. No one went with the roll man. Six and a half to go in the first half. 29-26 Gonzaga. Harris at the head of the key looking for a teammate. And his bounce pass knocked away. And they're going to call a foul on Adams on wow. the loose ball, making contact with Greg. That's two on Adams. Tough call. Good defensive play by Greg. He knocked the ball loose. And when they were going for the loose ball as it was bouncing toward half court, Adams stuck a hand out. A.J. Adams really can't do anything on the floor without contact. He loves, <laughs> he loves to make contact, as does Anton Watson. He certainly welcomes it, but you don't want it there. 15 foul on Kansas. Gonzaga ball. Nemhart's pass goes past Hoff underneath, but it was touched by Adams as it rolls out of bounds. So it's wow. going to stay with Gonzaga. Bill Self not happy that uh, they couldn't get that ball. And Mark Fuse telling, uh, again, both palms to the floor telling Ryan Nemhart, calm down. <laughs> You don't need one hand wrap around passes. He's in the uh, passing zone right now, feeling it. So maybe try. That was a heat check in terms of an assist. <laughs> ben Gregg, deep right post. Tough angle, but he wow. puts the shot up and in. Adams did a good job. Forced Gregg to go right. His shoulders weren't even facing the rim, but nonetheless, he banked it in. 7 0 Gonzaga run. Six minute mark. 31 26. Zags lead by five. Harris drives floater from five feet back rim. No rebound Greg nice box out by Huff on Dickinson Nemhart drives kick Stromer three left corner front rim. No rebound Dickinson quick outlet Timberlake Left wing Harris too many Kansas players walking up the floor Bounce pass Timberlake goes up missed the shot low left, but he was fouled good look by Dickinson to the back cutting Timberlake He'll go to the line for two it was a big miss by Dusty Stromer. Gonzaga was on a really good run. Stromer played so well against McNeese. He was two for three from three, and he was wide open in the left corner. The Zags faithful were ready to erupt. Big miss. Still on a 7-0 run. Hickman the foul is first. Timberlake misses the first free throw short. The official NCAA ticket exchange is the only NCAA approved place to buy and sell authentic 100% guaranteed Final Four tickets with other fans. Visit the official NCAA ticket exchange today at NCAA.com slash exchange. Second foul shot good for Timberlake. That ends a 7-0 Jayhawk run. 31-27 Gonzaga, nearing 5-15 to play in the first half. Mark Few going to his bench a lot. He got Huff and uh, Greg, who's, I mean, a starter, but those two bigs have played more than EK. EK got two fouls and had to go to the bench. Greg up top, underneath pass, wide open Huff and a dunk in the middle of the lane and a timeout by Bill Self. He's disgusted with his defense. The same, another pick and roll where the guy went into the basket. No one went with him. Really good look from the top by Ben Greg. There's a timeout on the court. Gonzaga with a six-point lead, 33-27. to 27. Over the four-seat Kansas, 5-11 to play first half. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. 
Running your own business can feel a lot like running a one-person relay race. When you've got to expand your team, share the baton with Indeed. Their all-in-one hiring platform has smart tools to help you attract, screen, and hire quality candidates to your roster. And they don't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. Nix the hassle. Start hiring. Learn more at Indeed.com slash credit to expand your team today. Well, Gonzaga is five for its last six on offense and has held Kansas without a field goal the last 241 and has a six-point lead with 5-11 remaining in the first half. Yesterday, Dave, when we were watching TV, had a very erudite discussion between Clark Kellogg and Charles Barkley about the word spurtability. Gonzaga has that. They can put these quick runs together. Who thought that it was a word? Who thought it wasn't? <laughs> Surprisingly, Charles... <laughs> didn't remember or know the word <laughs> he's the best three-pointers timberlake left side off the front iron no loose ball adams tracks it down in the corner saves it high up in the air and timberlake who can jump out of the gym kept it alive guess what another offensive rebound for the jayhawks dickinson three from the top of the key much needed triple and the jayhawks back within three four and a half left defensive rebounding and lack of hurting the Zags. 33-30, Gonzaga. Hickman in between the rings. They hedge on him, so he throws to Hoffel. Put it up, three-pointer right side. Spins around, but won't fall. Rebound Timberlake. And Timberlake is everywhere. And now lobs it. Middle of the post. Dickinson, right-hand shot. No good, but he's fouled. He'll shoot two with 4.05 to go in the half. That's the first foul on Hoff. Team foul number five on Gonzaga. H for me. Arizona fast break book with Umar Balo. Dickinson just ran right to the rim inside the restricted area and camped out. Huff was standing behind him. You can't do that on a guy as big and effective as Hunter Dickinson. It's his first free throw attempt, and he knocked it down his eighth point. He also has three assists. Whether you're looking for style, inspiration, or on-trend pieces, turn any space into your happy place with Ashley. Shop Ashley's anniversary sale in store or online today. Neither team able to get away from the other one. Zag's biggest problem is the defensive glass. It's hurting their ability to run, and it's allowing Kansas way too many more field goal attempts. Dickinson missed the second free throw. Rebound Gonzaga. Two-point game. Gonzaga in front, 33-31. 3.45 remaining first half. Nemhard drives, puts up a lob pass. Watson catches low left and puts it in off glass. It would have been easier for Nemhard to shoot it. He had a layup. I don't know why he threw it to the other side of the basket. He's got no points, Nemhard, but eight first half assists and just one turnover. Dickinson drives low left, powers it up and in off the window. 35-33 Gonzaga. Front court right side, Hickman outside the arc. To Watson in between the circles, swing the Nem hard in the left wing. 3.20 to go first half. Watson trying to post up, they give it to him, baseline left. Now Nem hard up top, drives past his man, kick out Huff. He leave Huff wide open, but he won't shoot it. Now he lets it fly, but he missed it. Rebound Dickinson. Never a good idea. If you hesitate, the shot normally does not go. Three-minute mark, Kansas looking to tie or retake the lead. Gonzaga missed up on the pick-and-roll coverage last time. Hunter Dickinson went right to the rim, and nobody picked him up. Timberlake throws to Jackson on the left wing, looking to take the big Greg. Goes at him. Low post left. Lost the ball and turned it over, and then got it back. Good hands. Kansas ball. Timberlake right wing feeds the high post. Now a cutting Harris down the middle of the lane for the layup. Tie game at 35 with two and a half to go in the first half. Costly turnover after they came up with the steal by the Jet Zags. Right wing, Nemhard, left hand dribble, throws out to Huff. Now Hickman on the left side, driving, middle of the paint, gets downhill, flips it up and in with the right hand from about three feet away. Offensive points coming from Nolan Hickman out of the Gonzaga backcourt. The passing's coming from Ryan Nemhart. Two-minute mark, first half, Gonzaga 37, Kansas 35. Winner to Detroit in the Sweet 16 to play either Purdue or Utah State. Right wing in the front court. It's Dickinson bouncing to Harris on the left side. Harris get left alone, so he shot the three, and he drilled it, and Kansas has a one-point lead. Because Brayden Huff went to cover Dickinson on the pick-and-roll. Again, lack of communication. 
That's his second three in the fifth for Kansas. That's about what they make per game. 90 seconds to go in the half. Hickman top of the circle. Crossover dribble. Takes a long two. Rattles it down. Gonzaga 39. Kansas 38. 125 left first half. It's one on one. Nolan Hickman taking El Marco Jackson. Front court to our left is Harris. Working in front of the Gonzaga bench on the far side, driving baseline, got caught underneath, flips it up to Murphy, three ball, got it from the left wing. They're trading threes, Kansas up two, 41-39 with a minute to go. Johnny Furphy got him off to a good start. He'd been quiet since then. Nemhard across the timeline, moves to his right, fires underneath to Huff, wide open, gets an easy layup with the right hand. Bad defense again by Kansas in the lane. I'll call it what you want, really good pick and roll offense or really bad pick and roll defense. Both teams guilty. Game tied at 41 apiece with 40 seconds to go. In the first half, Harris around a Dickinson screen, back to Dickinson, top of the key, triple, hit it! Dickinson gives Kansas a three-point lead. Shot clock is off. 25 seconds left in the half. 44-41, Jayhawks. Nemhard going to bring it across the timeline, just hammered into the deck, about 40 feet away on the far side of the court with 12 seconds to go in the half. Moving right around the Huff screen, Nemhard with five seconds, takes a three from straight on, front rim no, Greg gets the rebound, goes back up and scores, and a foul with 1.2 seconds left. A chance at a three-point play to tie the game going into halftime. It took a long time, but finally there's the fifth offensive rebound for the Zags, and now Ben Greg with the chance to tie it up. That's the second foul on Dickinson. Believe it or not, that's the under four timeout with 1.2 seconds remaining in the half. Kansas 44, Gonzaga 43. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Celebrate and save at Ashley's Anniversary Sale. With Hot Buys, your choice of color starting at just $3.99. Ashley Sleep Mattresses starting at $2.50. Plus, receive a free adjustable base with select mattress purchases. And shop top mattress brands like Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic, Purple, and Beautyrest Black with 60-month special financing only at Ashley. Subject to credit approval. No minimum purchase required. Minimum monthly payment, down payment, tax, and delivery may be required. See store for details. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. The problem with average underwear? The pinch. The stink. And the sweat. The fix? Duluth Trading Buck Naked Underwear. Get Buck Naked, the most comfortable underwear there is. No pinch, no stink, no sweat. Only at Duluth Trading. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Don't forget, you can listen to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on TuneIn Premium. Listen to every game with four dedicated Westwood One channels to catch the action all at once with the March Madness Mix Channel featuring live listen-ins of all the games. It's all on TuneIn Premium. Just download the app and search Westwood One. So PJ Kansas with more threes already this half than they had in round one and that they averaged for a game on the season. Unbelievable. Seven threes, they averaged 5.6. They've got eight offensive rebounds. They average 
can not find my notes. They average eight for the year. So the game has not gone according to script, but it's been a really interesting game. Five lead changes, four ties, and a chance for our fifth tie right here. Ben Gregg on the free throw line. He's four for four from the floor, nine points. That's what he averages on the year. 1.2 seconds remaining in the half. Kansas up one. Gregg can't make it. Rebound Adams, and the half comes to an end. So Kansas, the four seed in the Midwest, leads Gonzaga the five seed. 44-43, a spot in the Sweet 16 in Detroit at stake. And Greg's really upset with himself walking off the court. He had a, lo a long time to think about that free throw possibly tying the game up, but he had a good first half. We had a good first half. Uh, both teams struggling to get away from each other. This one could go right down to the wire. Kansas made its final six shots at a couple threes. Remember, Gonzaga's made the Sweet 16 each of the last eight years, but trailing by one. 44-43 KU at halftime. When we come back, we'll head back to our studios for the Wendy's Halftime Report for the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the Men's Basketball Tournament. When property is damaged by water and fire, it's devastating. If your workplace falls victim, Paul Davis Restoration knows speed is of the essence in getting you back to business quickly. Paul Davis Restoration has been restoring residential and commercial properties for more than 55 years. With locations across North America, Paul Davis Restoration leads the industry with advanced technology that reduces response time, allowing your business to continue with minimized interruption. When your commercial property has disaster damage, contact Paul Davis Restoration at pauldavis.com. The Difference Makers. Did you hear that? That's what an estimated 500 horsepower sounds like. Extra, give it to you. How about that? That's a premium banging Olufsen sound system with 18 speakers and a Biosonic sound experience. Catch your own. Wins, play turn up. And that, <laughs> that's our legacy. You ready to be a part of it? Extra, give it to you. Unlock the energy of the all electric CDX Type S. Give up. Order now at Acura.com. You know the drill. If you sweat, you can chafe. Highlands Chafing Relief provides a complete chafing solution that both protects and soothes. And it's safe to use even on your most sensitive areas. The cream to powder finish stays in place to safeguard against chafing, even on the sweatiest days, and with no greasy residue. Missed a spot? Highlands Chafing Relief also includes soothing, moisturizing ingredients like aloe, calendula, and tea tree oil. Just apply as needed for calming relief. Find Highlands Chafing Relief in the first aid aisle at Walmart and CVS. Whatever job you need to do out there, grab the right tool to get it done. The new F-150 with an available hybrid engine and up to 7.2 kilowatts of pro power on board to power things on the go. It's not a tool you'll hang in a tool shed, but you can certainly use it to build one. The new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024. Optional features the owner's manual for important operating instructions. Welcome to the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's Single for just a dollar and a Dave's Double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. Now, here's your host, Brad Heller. I think what you'd expect when Kansas and Gonzaga square off for the right to go to the Sweet 16, a one-point game at halftime, Kansas 44, Gonzaga 43 in Salt Lake City. Welcome inside the Westwood One Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. The next game coming up on the schedule will be in Charlotte. It's two more heavyweights square off, North Carolina and Michigan State. It's the 1-9 matchup in the West region. The Tar Heels crushed Wagner on Thursday behind Armando Baycott's seventh straight double-double in the tournament, while Sparty went wire-to-wire to beat Mississippi State by 18. This is going to be the sixth all-time meeting between these two in the tournament. Carolina's 5-0, and the last meeting coming in the 2009 National Championship game. The Tar Heels, coached by Hubert Davis, he sat down with our Jason Benetti and Casey Jacobson. Coach, some people are double-double machines. Armando Baycott is a 20-15 and 15 machine <laughs> in the NCAA tournament. How does he do that? Well, I mean, number one is, you know, he just – 
he, he is committed to doing something at an elite level throughout his entire careers, and that's just attacking the boards, whether it's, you know, an offensive end, defensively. You know, he's just somebody that um, just instinctively can find the ball, and it's just been huge for us, obviously, this year, but throughout his career. And then, you know, he's he does a great job at scoring points for us in the paint around the basket. You know, one of the things that's really important for us is our ability to get to the free throw line. And so you need, you know, we talk about, you know, post penetration, offensive rebound. We need a post player that's going to generate fouls and score and get us into the penalty so we can score at the free throw line. And he's our number one guy, and he's been doing that consistently, not just in the NCAA tournament, but throughout his career. R.J. Davis the other day has five in the first half, then he explodes for 17 in the second half. He goes from, like, distributor to attacker mm-hmm. on a dime. What inside of him allows him to be that guy to give you whatever you need? No, I appreciate you saying that because that's something that I think goes unnoticed. That's that's how great a player he is. Like, he he can play with the ball. He can play without the ball. He can get other guys involved. He can turn it up offensively. He he can do it on, you know, not a lot of shots. Like he's very efficient score, efficient player, and that's what you want in 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 a player. Somebody that can do a number of things out there on the floor. And you know, he's just been that way. His play this year has been nothing short but elite. And any time that this team needs anything, not just scoring, defense, leadership, whatever, he's always been the one to step up. Georgia, I, I consider you one of the youngest coaches in the country. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I do. You're a young up-and-comer. Okay. Yeah. But you are going against one of the legends and one of the most experienced coaches in the sport. And I know the players will ultimately decide the shots that are going in. But uh, talk about Tom Izzo, what he means, and all, like competing and coaching against him. Yeah, you know, I, I'm just a huge fan of Coach Izzo. Even before I became a coach, you know, he was one of the coaches that not only was I a huge fan of, but I, if if I was being recruited, he would be the coach that I would want to play for. Um, you know, he's demanding. He, he he wants the best out of each one of his players. He loves and cares about them, not just on the basketball floor, but also in life. And he brings out the best in each one of his players and has just been a tremendous example of how to coach, um, not only at Michigan State or the Big Ten, but just for college basketball. So it is an honor as a coach to be able to be on the sideline with them, and I'm really excited about the opportunity of both of these institutions competing today. Hubert, good luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That is Hubert Davis, head coach at North Carolina, and now back to our Westwood One studios. All right, Jason, thank you very much. North Carolina and Michigan State will be the first game from Charlotte coming up. That's in the West region. Winner goes to L.A. Kansas and Gonzaga. Winner goes to Detroit. The Jayhawks have a one-point lead at halftime, 44-43. Coming up, we'll tell you how Arizona got it done to start the day, and we'll check in on Caitlin Clark in the first round of the women's tournament. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never-frozen beef. Like a Juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamburger March Madness. Limited time offer. Participating U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem at Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in contiguous U.S. and Alaska. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! <laughs> yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. 
Welcome back to Westwood One's exclusive coverage of the men's basketball tournament from the Verizon Studios. I'm Brad Heller. Get the network you can rely on for your phone and your home internet and save. Find the plan that's right for you at Verizon.com. Kansas up one at halftime on Gonzaga in Salt Lake City. Earlier today, Arizona and Dayton, the Wildcats up by as much as 17 in the first half. They held on to beat Dayton 78-68. And Tommy Lloyd with the Wildcats going to his second Sweet 16 in three years as head coach. I was hoping that we could really come out and get after him defensively and, and really you know, just play with a bunch of active energy and kind of get him on their heels, and we did. Uh, unfortunately, they responded. But that's how these games go. And, and you know, we've been really talking about just being steady. And, and we're excited and honored uh, to be able to continue to play. Tommy Lloyd in Arizona will face either Baylor or Clemson. That'll be on Thursday in Los Angeles. Round one of the women's tournament. Iowa and Caitlin Clark up 54-36 on Holy Cross with seven minutes to go in the third quarter. Clark is just two of 11 shooting. She does have 13 points, seven rebounds, and eight assists. Already winners today on the women's side. UConn, Tennessee, Indiana, Notre Dame and NC State. And Westwood won your exclusive home for the women's tournament. Every game from the Sweet 16 all the way through the Final Four and the National Championship can be heard right here on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. That starts on Friday, March 29th. That is the tournament scoreboard sponsored by Just Capital. Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Your halftime score from Salt Lake City. Kansas leads Gonzaga 44-43. Winner heads to the Sweet 16 on Friday in Detroit. We'll rejoin Dave Pash and PJ Carlissimo in Salt Lake City after this. From the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network, this is the Men's Basketball Tournament. The countdown to the 2024 NFL Draft is on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Caleb Williams, is there anything this guy can't do? Beginning April 25th, we're live in Detroit with pick-by-pick -pick coverage of all 32 teams. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. You'll hear expert analysis and exclusive interviews with the next generation of stars. I want to be a legend. I want to have a golden jacket. Get ready for the NFL Draft with Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. I'm Chelsea, and a little thing I like about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Deluxe Sandwich is I think it's just a perfect combination of ingredients. The pepper jack cheese and that spiciness of the sandwich. It's the right type of spice and the right amount of spice. It's crunchy on the outside, but then really tender on the inside. And then, obviously, the pickles on the bottom are iconic. There are too many things I like about it. I don't know if I could finish the thought. Bring on the spice and order the Chick-fil-A Spicy Deluxe Sandwich on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real guests paid for their testimonial. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Dude Wipes presents Bathe Your Bum. <clears throat> While TP may appear to clear your rear, it actually leaves behind dry, pilly gifts clinging inside your rump's rounded rift. There's no bigger bummer than a bee crack that's whack. You need extra large wet strength for an effective attack. To fully wash stains, stinkies, crispies, and crumbs, it's time to ditch the dry paper and bathe your bum bum. Your dump dent deserves it so plump and so round. Use wet, flushable Dude Wipes for the best clean, <laughs> pants down. Kansas 44, Gonzaga 43, the Jayhawks with seven threes in that first half. They made their final six shots of that first half. Anything stand out to you other than that for the Jayhawks? Yeah, they're doing a great job on the offensive glass. They've got eight offensive rebounds already, and they're doing a really good job on the three-point line. We had that as one of our keys. If one of these teams would make some threes, which is really not in either one of their uh, wheelhouse, uh, it would make a difference. Kansas 7 for 11. Gonzaga only 3 for 9. The Zags are so efficient on offense. You know, they're 56% they're from the field, but uh, they're giving up some shots. So it's, it ended up 
34 field goal attempts for both teams. It seemed more one-sided in favor of KU. This has been the Wendy's NCAA Tournament Halftime Report. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar and a Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's, the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer at participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for Give me details. a Dave's double. <laughs> One more half, PJ. We've made it this far. We return the second half. You're listening to the Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Hey, what are you doing up on the step stool? About to clean these light fixtures. The whole family's coming over. And if there's even a speck of dust in the house, my abuela will find it. Here, I got a Swiffer duster to help with that. A Swiffer what? A Swiffer duster. It has this cool extendable handle that reaches six feet to get high and low with fluffy dusters that easily trap and lock dust. So no more step stool? No more step stool. Easily trap and lock dust from hard to reach places with the Swiffer duster. Love it or your money back. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming. Save money with member-only offers and earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards just for you. Because Lowe's knows you earned it, literally. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Rewards. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details. Subject to change. Business has always been about turning a profit, making money. But can it stand for something more? Something beyond dollars and cents? We think so. We think that today, business has a higher calling, a purpose to be fair and just, to do right by their workers, customers, communities, and the environment. And it turns out companies successful doing that also do better for their bottom line. When you see the Just Capital seal, it means this company is a force for good. Visit JustCapital.com to learn more. Where are my basketball fans at? Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Westwood One presents Great Moments in Tournament History. April 3rd, 2021. A Final Four matchup that featured 11-time champion UCLA, one of the greatest programs in history, taking on Gonzaga, a team chasing history of their own, trying to become the first school to finish a season undefeated since Indiana in 1976. The contest went to overtime, and the Bruins trailed by two late but had the ball, which set the stage for a dramatic ending. Six seconds, Chuzang in the paint, fade away. No, got his own rebound, slithers to the rim and lays it in. Three seconds to go. We're tied at 90. Here comes Suggs, long three for the win. Banks at home. Jalen Suggs, a deep banked three to send Gonzaga one step closer to history. Gonzaga would fall short of perfection when Baylor bested them in the final, but the clutch shot by freshman Jalen Suggs is definitely another great moment in NCAA tournament history. I'm Ryan Radke. Winner advances to the Sweet 16 in Detroit. Kansas, the fourth seed in the Midwest region, leading the five seed Gonzaga, 44-43. Let's check the halftime stats. Sponsored by Barbasol. Feeling great starts with a great shave and great shave start with Barbasol shaving cream. For whatever your day brings, choose Barbasol. Barbasol, it's a can of can do. Two guys that definitely could use some Barbasol right now. Dave Pash, PJ Carlissimo here courtside. <laughs> I shaved this morning. <laughs> you haven't shaved since 1985. Who are you kidding? <laughs> All right, what are some of the numbers, uh, Peach? Uh, individual numbers that are sticking out to you through one half. Well, Hunter Dickinson with 13 points, four boards. He's five for eight, including a pair of threes. Uh, Dewan Harris kind of quietly, 10 points, six boards, really good numbers, uh, four for seven, two for two. Johnny Furphy got him off to a good start uh, and then made one late. He's two for three from three. Uh, that's seven for 11 from Kansas, really impressive. Points in the paint of the Zags, 26-20. Bench points, Zags, 11-0. Uh, Braden Huff showing the way for the Bulldogs. He's got 11. He's 4 for 8, 2 for 2. Uh, I think they're going to need a little offense with Ryan Emhart. Hard to jump on a guy when he gets 9 assists and a half, but I think they need some offense. He's only 0 for 4. 
Time for your keys to the second half, sponsored by NetSuite, now through April 15th. NetSuite is offering a one-of-a-kind flexible financing program. Head to NetSuite.com slash hoops right now. That's NetSuite.com slash hoops. Well, I think I've got the same key for both, two of the same keys for both teams. Uh, rebound and run is a huge key for Gonzaga. That's a standalone. Be physical inside uh, for the Jayhawks. That's big for them. If one of these teams, and so far it's been Kansas, continues to make threes, that's going to make a huge difference. Uh, no question about that. KU's got to control tempo. Gonzaga somehow has to control Hunter Dickinson. And they both hopefully straightened out their pick-and-roll defense at halftime because they both really struggled with the roll man in the pick-and-roll situations. Kansas made its final six shots of the half. Hunter Dickinson hit a couple of threes. And the Jayhawks have a one-point lead. They did not make it to the Sweet 16 last year after winning the championship two years ago. Meanwhile, Gonzaga's made it to the Sweet 16 eight consecutive years. 2014 was the last time they didn't. That was back when they had issues figuring out whether to call it the first round or the second round or the third round, and they lost in the third round. I was shocked when I read that stat. Only Sweet 16 since 2019 for the Jayhawks, but... When they got to the six, Sweet 16, they ran the table and finished in New Orleans with another championship for Bill Self. Gonzaga's made the title game twice, 2017-2021. These are the two winningest teams in the NCAA tournament since 2017. We are ready to start the second half. Time to, time to find out which team will get the job done. Start of the second half, sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire quality candidates fast? You need Indeed. Indeed's video interview tool makes it easy and effortless to meet with candidates. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. KU 17-3 when they lead at the half. It's only a one-point lead, but it's a lead. Gonzaga 20-0 and when they score 20-plus. So something's got to give here in the second half. You got one Hall of Fame coach and Bill Self on one sideline, another headed to the Hall of Fame at some point on the other in Mark Few. Yes. Two... All Blue Americans, programs yeah, right now. fantastic players for both teams. Who's going to step up and uh, keep one of these great programs alive and headed to Detroit? A lot of people were surprised at the seed that Gonzaga got. They had a chip on their shoulder in the first game. See if they can use that to their advantage here in the second round. Kansas ball, front court to our right to start the second half. Harris on the right wing to the right corner for Furphy. EK's on him. EK, EK has two fouls, so he doesn't uh, challenge the shot, but it's missed on the right baseline. Offensive rebound, though. Shot clock at two. It didn't hit the rim. Timberlake straight on three is good. I would really be upset and looking across. Mark View is. I'm sure he talked about defensive rebounding. They start with an offensive rebound and a three. With about one second on the shot clock. Three. Answer. Hickman left wing for Gonzaga. Back to a one-point game. I know it's early. That is an enormous shot right there by Nolan Hickman. He's got 12 points now for Gonzaga. 47-46 Kansas. One minute into the second half. Right wing Furfield. Try it. Around and out from three. EK with an easy rebound. Ahead to Nemhard, who did not score in the first half, but at nine assists. Nemhard fires to Watson on the right wing. Now Hickman driving left of the lane. Good screen by E.K. And Hickman with a right-hand layup on the left side of the rim. My neighbor in Seattle did a prep year at Wasatch Academy here in Salt Lake. He is providing the offense for the Zags. 48-47 Bulldogs. A minute and a half gone by second half. Harris penetrates, finds Adams. Jumper right elbow goes down. Kansas back up one. Again, it was the roll man. That time he didn't get all the way to the basket, but he got the short jump shot off a of pick and roll. 18-15 on the clock. 49-48. KU. EK. Low block left. Facing up. Now turn, shoots, and hits over Dickinson. Lefty shot on the left baseline from 10 feet. He made one like that in the first half. That was very well defended by Hunter Dickinson. Graham E.K. just arced it a little higher and converted the jump shot. Kansas trailing by one with possession. 17.50 to play in the second half. Adams in between the circles, moves to his left, stopped his dribble. Fires underneath to Dickinson, now outside the lane. They work it around to Furphy on the right side. His three is up and no good. Backside board, E.K. 
Gonzaga by one, looking to run. Nemhard hits the trailer. Greg on the right side. Bounce pass. Watson cutting in and throwing it down right of the rim. 52-49, Zags. Quicker tempo. That's the way the Zags want to play. But they were able to do it because they got a defensive rebound. Ten points for Watson. He was an assist shy of a triple-double in the first round. Timberlake left wing. Fires to Adams up top. Dribble handoff to Harris. Right corner, shot clock down to nine. Harris into the lane, got bumped, no whistle. Bank shot too strong. Offensive rebound, Furphy. And they're going to call a foul on Gonzaga with about five uh, on the offensive rebound, rather. And that's the first foul in the half. I don't know what they can do, because I know they've talked about it. I know he's talked to the players in timeouts and in halftime. But Gonzaga is getting beat badly on the offensive glass. First foul on Watson in the game. Kansas inbounds baseline right. Lob to Dickinson at the right elbow. Adams now holding it. Left high post. Finds Harris on the right side. Drives, hits Dickinson, fires left corner. Furphy open three. No good. EK clears. Hunter Dickinson should have shot that. It was the appropriate pass, but he was open. Nemhard driving past his man and gets the layup on the left of the rim to push the lead to five for Gonzaga. Bill Self thinking about a timeout. Instead, he's going to come with the thumb down offensive set call. Hope he can get to that 16 minute media timeout, but it's been strong start for the Zags. Furphy, left elbow, dumped down Dickinson, spins left. Half hook, no good. Rebound, EK. 16-15 to go. Gonzaga by five. Zags on a 6-0 run. Nemhard left wing, drives, pocket pass to EK. Short jumper, off the window and in. Timeout, Bill Self. Gonzaga's lead is seven, 56-49. Wells Barkley may not know what spurtability means, but he recognizes the run. Really impressive, just short of four-minute spurt by the Zags. Eight straight for Gonzaga, and it's 56-49 with 16.09 to go. In the second half, Gonzaga leading for the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. This is the men's basketball tournament. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. When property is damaged by water and fire, it's devastating. If your workplace falls victim, Paul Davis Restoration knows speed is of the essence in getting you back to business quickly. Paul Davis Restoration has been restoring residential and commercial properties for more than 55 years with locations across North America. Paul Davis Restoration leads the industry with advanced technology that reduces response time, allowing your business to continue with minimized interruption. When your commercial property has disaster damage, contact Paul Davis Restoration at pauldavis.com. The Difference Makers. March Madness is finally here. The most magical of For the best analysis and coverage of the NCAA tournament, tune into Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Oh, he bangs it home! From the title contenders to the Cinderella teams, we've got you covered through the national championship in Phoenix. We really don't know how teams are going to respond in March. It's all on Sirius XM College Sports Radio Channel 84, our Power 5 conference channels 371 through 375, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm your famous game day chili, and I'm bubbling over on the stove. And while this basketball game is just starting to heat up, I'm already on fire. And now, <laughs> so is your kitchen. Are you kidding me? And if you don't have the right home insurance, paying for this might scorch your savings. So get Allstate, save money, and get protected from mayhem like me. Not available in every state. Savings vary. Based on coverage selected. Subject to terms, conditions, availability, and qualifications. Allstate Vehicle and Property Insurance Company and Affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Garth Brooks, the limited series seven disc box set, which includes his new album, Time Traveler, and features his new song with Ronnie Dunn, Rodeo Man, is available now only at Bass Pro Shops. All right, Mr. Country, we talk about the basketball game here a little bit or what? <laughs> How about this run here by Gonzaga, 13-2 and 8-0? That Nolan Hickman shot was so big after KU got offensive rebound and scored on the first possession. 
that stopped the immediate bleeding, and they have not looked back since. I'm looking for Hunter Dickinson to get the ball this possession. Four minutes gone by, second half. Pull-up jumper, Furphy short from the left elbow. 0 for 5 this half, Johnny Furphy. Watson in transition, missed the layup, but he was fouled. He'll go to the line for two, 56-49 Gonzaga. Watson with a chance to add to the lead. Young guys had some good looks. They got him the ball that time by the free throw line. He couldn't post up Dickinson because they backed off him. He had to shoot it, but 0 for 5 so far in the second half. Second foul on Furphy. And there's a break in the action with a score. Gonzaga 56, Kansas 49. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood 1 NCAA Radio Network. Bounty picks up spills quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less than the leading ordinary brand. So, you can get back to your night. Bounty. Chafe. Highland's chafing relief provides a complete chafing solution that both protects and soothes, and it's safe to use even on your most sensitive areas. The cream to powder finish stays in place to safeguard against chafing, even on the sweatiest days, and with no greasy residue. Missed a spot? Highland's chafing relief also includes soothing, moisturizing ingredients like aloe, calendula, and tea tree oil. Just apply as needed for calming relief. Find Highland's chafing relief in the first aid aisle at Walmart and CVS. Yeah. You know you need protein to fuel results, but it's not easy when you're drinking the same bland chalky shake every day. Stop punishing yourself and get to GNC for the best protein in the game, including all the hottest brands and crave-worthy flavors that'll keep you coming back for more. We're talking protein that legit tastes like cookies, your favorite cereals, indulgent desserts, and more. So bust out of your protein rut and actually look forward to those shakes with unbeatable protein at unbeatable prices. Fuel your fitness with protein at GNC. Yeah. Whatever job you need to do out there, grab the right tool to get it done. The new F-150 with an available hybrid engine and up to 7.2 kilowatts of pro power on board to power things on the go. It's not a tool you'll hang in a tool shed, but you can certainly use it to build one. The new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024. Optional features the owner's manual for important operating instructions. So shave with Barbasol and inspire your team. Raise that red, white, and blue can and yell, we can do this. If it doesn't work, you still got a great shave. Barbasol, it's a can of can-do. You can listen to the live stream of every game of the NCAA Men's Tournament right here on Westwood One. Sponsored by Wendy's. Get a Dave's single for just a dollar. Dave's double for just two bucks with the offers in the Wendy's app. Wendy's the official hamburger of March Madness. Limited time offer for participating U.S. Wendy's. Redeem in Wendy's app. Account registration required. See offer in Wendy's app for details. You get the little cut on the doubles and the singles or just, just on the Dave's doubles? Anything for you. How about six for six for Gonzaga to start the second half? Six for six in the field, one for one from the three-point line. Watson's free throw is on the way and good, and this is the largest lead of the game for Gonzaga. Eight points, 57-49, 15-55 left. We've got an excellent team with a decent amount of veteran players and tremendous experience, but nonetheless, this is danger time for the Kansas Jayhawks right now. Watson knocked both down. It's a 10-0 Jayhawk. Or gets in the run, rather, over the last 2 minutes and 15 seconds. How will the Jayhawks answer? Harrison between the rings, moving right, bounces into the lane. Adams, and he's fouled on the outlet pass attempt. But then Ben Gregg got rolled up on accidentally by Adams. So it looks to be okay. KJ had to be a football player at some point, no? It certainly looks like it. Wow. We interviewed him the other day, and very impressive man. Oh, I like him a lot. Really good personality. Foul was on Greg, his second. And a turnover wow. on the pass to Dickinson in front of the Kansas bench on the far side. DeWan Harris had trouble getting the ball in, and Dickinson flashed toward the corner to get the ball. And he was afraid he was going to step on the end line and didn't really pay attention to catching the pass. Left side, Hickman moves to his right. They leave him alone. He tries the three, and it's good. Gonzaga on a 13 to nothing run has opened up a 12-point lead with five minutes gone by in the second half. Nolan Hickman has been money for the Zags. No Kevin McCuller to answer for Kansas out for the tournament with a knee injury. 
A foul called inside after the Furphy shot on the loose ball. Greg is still hobbling. He just picked up the foul. He's third. He's going to go to the bench anyway. Well, Gonzaga is very happy where they are right now, but they had better clean up their defensive rebound. They are really having trouble securing a rebound with two hands. Dickinson with a catch, high post right, hands it off. Timberlake bounces to Adams, low post right, strong move off the window. No, he was off balance, expecting a foul call to miss the shot. Here comes Hickman, who's got 17 points on the day. Finds EK underneath, tough shot, air ball, knocked out of bounds. Watson, baseline left. It's Kansas ball. Well, they didn't play on both ends. I thought KJ Adams got banged on that end. I thought EK got banged on this end. Let him play. By the way, Nemhard has 10 assists. His next assist will break the Gonzaga single season record. 14.40 on the clock. Second half, 61-49. Zags lead. Trying to make the Sweet 16 for the ninth straight year. Move on to Detroit to play either Purdue or Utah State. Driving is Harris. Floater from six feet. Back rim, no. Offensive rebound and then a miss by Dickinson. Low left at point blank range. Rebound Zags. Nemhard into the front court, going to pull it back. Bounce to EK, right side about 18 feet away, jab step. Now drive, spin, baseline shot, oh, up and in. Oh. The lead is 14, it's a 15-0 Gonzaga run. Talk about efficient offense by the Zags. Very little transition, it's been mainly in the half court. How will Kansas stop the bleeding? Ten-footer, no good from Adams straight on. Pinballs out to Harris. Underneath Dickinson up with the half hook. And finally, Kansas gets a basket. 13.45 to go. That's their first points in four and a half minutes. Hard to call it an offensive rebound because it bounced all over the place, but it was just that. Nemhart fouled on the drive by Harris. His first and the second team foul on KU with 13.38 to play. Gonzaga 63. Kansas 51 later on will select the play of the day sponsored by Old Spice introducing Old Spice total body deodorant spray giving you 24 7 freshness for pits to toes with daily use Thankfully PJ applied plenty for the last few days with us sitting next to each other for the last 48 hours Shot clock at 10 Nemhard in between the circles driving right of the lane kicks to the right corner open three Watson It's good 66 51 Gonzaga Number one in the West Coast Conference, number two in the country in field goal percentage. Dickinson to answer, Camp from the left wing with a three. Nemhard offense or defensive rebound, largest lead for Gonzaga. Nemhard lost the ball, turned it over, trying to drive down the middle of the lane. Furphy back up the court, fouled by Watson. Furphy hits the deck. That's the fourth team foul and the second on Anton Watson. 12:58 remaining. Well, Mark Few is probably more level-headed than I would be with the 15-point lead. I would be really upset with Ryan Nemhart for that turnover. 15-point lead, let's just get it under control. We're chewing him up with our half-court offense. You don't have to create anything. He's only got 10 assists so far. And make it 11. He's now moved past Josh Perkins for the single-season record. I was going to say it might be somebody who played for a long time in this building, but they didn't play enough games back when John Stockton was there. Nice pass by Harris. A lob low left to Brown for the dunk. Another pick-and-roll execution. The big man rolls to the basket, catches the lob dunk. 12.40 on the clock. Can Kansas get a stop? The Jayhawks down 66-53. Off in between the circles, he led Gonzaga in scoring in the first half, believe it or not, with 11. But Hickman is up to 17 points now. Watson is 15, shot clock at 5. Nemhard top of the circle, flips to Stromer, driving middle of the lane. Pump fake, underneath pass. And they're not going to count the basket as a shot clock violation. That was a great look to Huff, low left for the layup, but just a second too late. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, we had a turnover by Nemhard, followed by... A pick and roll basket followed by another turnover. 30 second violation. Little flourish here 
for the Jayhawks headed to the 12-minute media timeout. They trail by 13, 66-53. They're just two for their last 13. Harris driving right of the lane, goes up, and his shot hit the bottom of the rim on a layup try. Loose ball, and it's saved, and Hickman is hurt for Gonzaga, so it's five on four, and then an out-of-control pass by Jackson turned over baseline right. Well, Marco Jackson has really hurt the Jayhawks in the two games here. And Nolan Hickman is still on the ground. Jostarian, the trainer, out to look. He's holding his, it seems to me he's holding the side of his face or his jaw. 12-minute timeout. Gonzaga 66, Kansas 53. Winner to the Sweet 16. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC. Member SIPC. Of my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Where are my basketball fans at? Presents. Welcome to Fandom 101. The NCAA men's hoop season is here, meaning it's time for you to bring a little charisma and chaos for your squad. Be the sixth man in the stand. NCAA Division I men's basketball. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash MVP tickets. Class dismissed. Without the ones like you, who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Check the schedule of tournament games coming up on Westwood One, sponsored by Duluth Trading Company. Duluth Trading Company stacks your starting lineup with higher performing gear all year round. Plus keeps all your zones covered and comfy online or in store. Get into Duluth today. Arizona advancing to the Sweet 16 for the second time in three years earlier today against Dayton. will play on Thursday night in Los Angeles. As we pause 10 seconds for station identification, this is the Westwood One NCAA. Christopher Russo here. Mad Dog Sports Radio live during every game of the NCAA tournament. React to every upset on Channel 82 and the all-new Sirius XM app. Find out what channel your team is playing on by going to SiriusXM.com slash sports. For the game, P.J. shooting 64% from the floor, 23 points in eight minutes in the second half. Well, 9 for 10 shooting, including 3 for 3 from downtown, helps. Kansas needs help. 4 for 18 from the field, 1 for 5 from downtown. Hickman is on the bench, took a shot to the jaw from a sliding K.J. Adams, got him with his hip. Gonzaga ball front court to our left. Huff backing down a smaller defender, gets deep in the paint. Fires underneath to Watson, layup good from the left side of the rim. But the efficiency, Dave, of the Gonzaga offense in the half court. Now 10 of 11 from the floor in the second half. 68-53 Gonzaga, 11-15 to go in the second half. Jackson on the left wing, then a turnover machine for the Jayhawks. They need some help with uh, Dewan Harris having to play most of the minutes. They're out there together right now. Shot clock at five. Jackson at the right elbow. Backs up. Timer at three. Now Timberlake catch and shoot. Long two. Short. Rebound Watson. Really good defensive possession for the Zags. Demhard. Greg. Open three. Right side. Got it. They're 11 of 12 from the floor in the half. Timeout Kansas. The lead is up to 18 for the Zags. 
Good defense. They came up with another defensive rebound, and they are just cutting up the Jayhawks in the half court with their half court man offense. And a lot of people looked at the Gonzaga seed and scratched their head, but the Zags have been a different team the last couple months. And right now, it's a rout with 10.52 to go in the second half. Gonzaga 71 and Kansas 53. Dave Pash and P.J. Carlissimo are Granger courtside seats at Delta Center. When you need products in a pinch, Granger's got you covered. Get same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders. Call clickgranger.com or stop by to get what your business needs. Well, I'll tell you what. Ball movement has been excellent. And really, I mean, how can you be surprised? They score 84.9 a game. Best in the WCC, seventh in the country. Their field goal percentage is 516. Best in the WCC, second in the country. And assists, they are 16.7 a game. Best in the WCC, top 20 in the NCAA. And it's all on display right here. And this is a team that really runs well. 14 and a half points a game, fast break points. They haven't been able to do that today, but they haven't needed to because their half court offense has been so good. Kansas led by one at halftime, so it only took nine minutes and eight seconds for Gonzaga to blow this open as uh, Gonzaga leads at 71-53. I know it was extremely early, but that Nolan Hickman three-point shot when he answered the first bucket of the second half by Kansas was huge, and it just settled things for the Zags right away. Can Kansas make a run? Can Hunter Dickinson step up? He's got 15 points, but it feels like it's been a quiet game for him. He's, well, he's got to be. He's got to be more aggressive, and, and he's got Zags draped all over him. They're trying to post him up on the left block. They're not letting it happen. Adams almost turned it over. Harris, top of the key, drives. Floater from eight feet short. Ball batted around, gets it back. Harris does. Left side, Furphy. Furphy going to bring it up behind the three-point line on the left wing. Bounce to the low post left for Adams. Half hook and a turnaround is off the back iron. Rebound, Greg, for Gonzaga. Wow. It, it's still very early, but do they miss McCullers? Are you kidding me? They miss one of the best scorers, one of the best players in the country, not taking anything away from the way the Zags are playing. Nemhard right elbow, skip to the left side, Watson driving through the lane, stops in the paint, kicks it back out near midcourt. Gonzaga's missed one shot this half, five to shoot. Nemhard with four, skip to Watson, right elbow, pull up Jay, missed it, and it's rebounded by Kansas. It's the first shot that was rushed a little bit in this entire second half by Gonzaga. Entry pass, Dickinson low left, got it blocked by Greg. Boy, got to finish stronger than that. Without question, he was underneath the rim. He's got to jump up and dunk it Good like you would ball. do. <laughs> and I'm a foot and two inches shorter than Hunter Dickinson. Greg left wing to the corner. Three on the way. Good from Stromer. It's 74-53. Gonzaga at the nine-minute mark. Excellent ball movement. You move the ball quicker than the defense can rotate. Dickinson, three on the way from the left side. Around and out. Rebound, Greg. Halfway down. Gonzaga blew out McNeese in the first round and looks like a national threat again here in 2024. Drubbing Kansas. 8.50 to go. 74-53 Zags. Nemhard right wing. Shot clock at 10. Watson on the left side. Drives right of the lane. Stops, bounces to Nemhart in the paint, brings it back out with four to shoot. Nemhart into the lane, one-handed runner off the back iron, no. Timberlake rebounds for KU. Two good KU defensive possessions in a row. Dickinson right side, dribble handoff for Fee, puts up the three, misses it, and again, no offensive rebound opportunities for Kansas. Gonzaga ball with 8.20 to go, up 21. Well, we bragged on Johnny Furphy in the first half, but the young guy from Australia is having a nightmare second half. Mark Few putting up four fingers to run a play here. High pick and roll, them hard on the right side. Fires underneath, off the hand of EK out of bounds. 8.08 on the game clock. If you looked at his expression, you'd think Mark Few was the guy who was down 21 points. But that's three straight empty possessions 
for Gonzaga. That just hasn't happened in the second half. They didn't have two straight empty possessions prior to this. Over 700 wins in 25 years for Mark Few. Eight consecutive Sweet 16s. Think how hard that is to do. No national championships, but two title game appearances. And they force a turnover here. Watson gets it ahead to Greg. Now to Nemhard. Underneath the basket and fouled by Timberlake on the drive. And Nemhard will shoot two when we come back. Dave, I know you're too young to remember. I don't have to think how hard it is. I know how hard it is. Playing in the Carrier Dome, <laughs> playing all the places we used to play. What Mark Few is doing is monumentally special. 7.53 remaining until they head to Detroit. Gonzaga 74, Kansas 53. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. Texting privacy policy in terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting rules for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Minimum purchase required. Interest accrues from date of purchase, but is waived if paid within promotional period. Go to windowappointmentnow.com for full offer details. Hey, college hoops fans. It's the best time of year again. And if you're a homeowner, there's more to love than just incredible basketball action. Because right now, you can save hundreds of dollars replacing your old windows and doors with Renewal by Anderson, sponsor of Westwood One's coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Right now, save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. Just text March to 323232 for your free consultation and free price quote on top quality affordable renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Text March to 323232 right now to save $377 off every window and $777 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings won't last long. Text March to 323232 before the savings madness ends. Great-looking uniforms are an expression of teamwork, confidence, and pride. Cintas can help make sure your team is dressed to perform their best every day. We offer workwear and apparel that's comfortable and durable with a modern fit. From work shirts and pants, to polos and khakis, to Oxfords or t-shirts. And it all comes with weekly laundry service and delivery right to you. To learn more, visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. What companies would you want to work for? Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Bank of America is ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for their ongoing commitment to workers, offering best-in-class benefits, including a minimum wage of $25 an hour by 2025. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. Time for a scoring recap sponsored by CDW. CDW experts help you get more from your technology so you can do amazing things. CDW, make amazing happen. Well, the recap is this. Gonzaga has almost as many points in 12 minutes and 7 seconds in the second half as they had the entire first half. They're outscoring Kansas 31 to 9. The Jayhawks are 4 for 24 from the floor in the half while Gonzaga's fall for 15. Similar, but obviously different teams. But we talk so much about Gonzaga because they shoot it so well, because they execute so well, because they run so well. As we said with Arizona, very, very underrated defensive team. Way better defensive team than people realize. Nemhard makes the free throws. It's interesting. CBS just showed a, a shot of Mark Few's wife, Marcy, praying as Nemhard was at the line. She's really a coach's wife. Absolutely. That, ner that nervous, despite a 22-point lead, he made the free throw, so it's up to 23. Dickinson missed the jump hook on the other end. Gonzaga rebounds. Really good look. Ryan Nemhard walking the ball up the court. They know that Seven minutes and 30 seconds could be another trip to the Sweet 16. Scoring draw to five and a half minutes for Kansas. 76-53 Gonzaga. 7.15 to go in this game. Nam hard on the right wing. Bounce pass to Watson with the shot clock at three. Watson turns baseline. Fouled as he missed the shot with 1.3 on the clock. Wow. By Adams. I was just going to say, Gonzaga's doing a good job bleeding time off the clock, but they've lost a little bit of their offensive efficiency, and then they get bailed out by a foul call. Be a VIP with the NCAA experience at the 2024 Men's Basketball Regional Round. Score premium March Madness tickets and exclusive hospitality access, a VIP experience for the VIP fan. Visit NCAA.com slash VIP.
First free throw good. It's a 24-point lead. They trailed by one at halftime. Second foul shot good. 78-53. Seven minutes away from Kansas' season coming to an end. It's a 12 over. They just keep these runs going. 12 over. Kansas scores one, and they run 10 more. Bill Self's team was certainly vulnerable with all the injuries they had. Dickinson off and on. McCuller off and on. Three, no good from the left wing. Jackson rebound Gonzaga plus the Jayhawks. Just not as good as they're used to being. They had their worst conference record under Bill Self since he took over. And they've lost their energy right now. You can see it in their faces. At least they were out hustling them on the offensive glass. Now it's one and done and Gonzaga's controlling the defensive boards also. Six and a half minutes remaining in the game. 78-53, Gonzaga Watson underneath. Reverse layup good with the right hand on the far side. 80-53, Gonzaga. It was 44-43 at halftime. Just nine points for Kansas in the second half. It's a 14-0 run. Harris push shot left side off the mark. Knocked out of bounds by Dickinson. And it's Gonzaga ball. I hate to say it, the body language is atrocious for the Jayhawks, and understandably so. I mean, this proud, proud program, some excellent players out there. They just keep looking up at that score go scoreboard going, do you believe this? We are down 27 points in the second round of the NCAA. And Bill Self, one of the greatest coaches of all time, only so much you could do when oh. you're out man like this. It doesn't matter who's coaching, as undermanned as they are, and as well as the Gonzaga Bulldogs are playing. E.K. grabbed in the lane with six minutes to go. And the score, 80 to 53. It got out of hand so quickly. He just led at the half and got the first bucket in the second half. Looked like they came out and we're going to be all right. They started with another offensive rebound, another three, and boom, it ended just like that. Kansas has not scored in seven minutes. 0 for its last 10. Gonzaga ball. E.K., low post left, back to the basket. Backing down Brown. Spins baseline. Puts up the shot. Missed it. Rebound should've, Adams. Should have kicked it out. He had all kinds of pressure on him, and he had open players on the perimeter. Jackson drives the lane. Gets the layup with the right hand on the left side of the rim. But five and a half minutes left, and despite that being the first points in over seven minutes, it's 80-55 to 55 still Gonzaga leading. Good, good move by El Marco Jackson. You've been so critical of his passing, but that was a really good move. Gonzaga going to milk some clock here, understandably, at midcourt. 5.25 remaining in the game. Shot clock at 8. Left side, Greg. And an offensive foul on E.K. Pushing off underneath. That's his third. I don't want to read too much into it. Eh? Grim E.K., I think, wants to participate a little more. Everybody else has done so much. I mean, he's got uh, 12 points. Not like he's not playing well. He's 6 for 10 from the field. He's got six boards, but he so wants to get it and score inside and uh, just got a little too aggressive. Our friend and uh, former colleague at Westwood One, Danny Manning, is here. CBS just showing him on uh, the screen, and obviously Danny very frustrated with the way his alma mater is playing. Five minutes remaining, 80 to 55, Gonzaga. Brown up top, tries the three, swishes through. They had seven threes in the first half. That's just their second three of the second half. 80 to 58, Gonzaga. Hickman on the right side at the hash mark with Gonzaga just pounding the ball into the ground. Taking time off the game clock. Shot clock at eight. Greg left corner with a jab step. Now driving. Deep left. Goes to the right hand with a hook in the middle of the lane, and it goes. Mark Few is really upset. I think he's yelling at Huffman because he's in the wrong place in the offense. Harris left side. Adams foul line. Jay is good. Well, Kansas starting to make some shots, but it's too late. 4.15 to go. 82 to 60, Gonzaga. A.J. Adams is a warrior. He only knows one way to play. Full out all the time. Gonzaga ball shooting 64% from the floor. Huff in the lane. Goes to the left hand. Missed it off the back rim. Rebound Harris. Going to push it across the line. Right corner of three is up. No good. Rebound Nemhart. 345 on the clock. He'll slow it down. Yeah, normally they would have busted that up the floor. They're just trying to bleed this clock and get out of here healthy and uh, pack their bags for the Motor City. 
And will it be Purdue or Utah State in a game Friday? The Zags will head back to Spokane tonight. 5C will go to their ninth consecutive Sweet 16. Just amazing. Ball knocked out of bounds by Harris. Baseline left. They got him out. Nope. Yep. Four minute timeout. 323 on the clock. Gonzaga 82, Kansas 60. You're listening to the men's basketball tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network. The new song from Garth Brooks and Ronnie Dunn, Rodeo Man, is out now. Pull up them boots, ease me down in that shoe. You sign me on the track. Sure, without the wheel, we wouldn't have modern transportation or funny videos of dogs riding skateboards. But without the Name Your Price tool, we wouldn't have easy access to auto insurance options based on our budget. And, well, cars do need wheels. They also need insurance. And insurance never goes flat. Learn more about the greatest tool ever. The Name Your Price tool at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Not available in all states. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. It's NCAA championship time. Fans of the hustle. Present. Fans of the heart. Present. Fans of the flash, grit, and grind. Present. The best fans in the lands are bringing everything they got for their team. Be there when your squad hoists the ultimate trophy overhead. The NCAA championships. Attendance is encouraged. Passion is mandatory. Buy your seats today at NCAA.com slash tickets. Class dismissed. Stay with us for the Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades Tournament Postgame Report. We'll check the final stats you'll hear from a member of the winning team. Bosch Night Performance Wiper Blades reduce blur and glare to help you see on stormy nights. Find them at auto retailers near you. Night vision has evolved. Gonzaga leading 82 to 60 over Kansas with 323 to play. Almost certain to be the ninth consecutive Sweet 16. Watch Mark Few's team mess around after a lot of people said midway through the year they shouldn't even be in the tournament. Watch them mess around and go win the whole thing when nobody expects them to. How you can doubt this team, I have no clue whatsoever. They righted the ship when they were able to, you know, you talked about it, win at Kentucky, win at St. Mary's in the regular season. And, uh, oh, Carroll's inbounds pass right there. Turnover Gonzaga. And Watson with a nice recovery gets a block on Jackson, but it stays Kansas ball, and then they turn it back over. But you think about what the Zags have done lately. They started 11-5. and five. They're 15-2 and two since. You touched down their key wins. They did lose to St. Mary's in the championship game of the WCC. Well, they closed with nine straight. You talked about that loss to St. Mary's in Las Vegas. 10 of 11 coming into this one, so 11 out of 12. And the Zags clearly cooking right now. And they're also healthy, which is a great thing to be when it comes March and NCAA tournament time. Kansas was not, and Hunter Dickinson was back. But without Kevin McCuller, their leading score, you knew it would be an uphill challenge. Dickinson's on the bench. He might be done. Shot on the way from the left side is no good from Nemhar, but he's fouled to shoot two with 2.47 to go. Gonzaga leading by 22, 82 to 60 over the Jayhawks. It's a time when the assistant coaches politely say, um, we got enough points, let's get these guys out. And head coaches always go, well, I don't know, these guys can go on a run. <laughs> First free throws up and no good from Nemhar. Dave Pash and P.J. Carlissimo at our Granger courtside seats at the Delta Center. Winning teams know the value of a good six man. Count on Granger when your business needs to boost off the bench. Call or click Granger.com for supplies and solutions for every industry. Second free throw good. 83 60, Gonzaga leading. Two and a half to go. Jackson, top of the key for Kansas. 
Right side McDowell drives down the middle of the lane, banks it in with the left hand, and accidentally hit Anton Watson in the face on the follow through. He's calling for an official timeout here. Well, he hit him in the nose or in the eye. He's got the, uh, his uniform pulled up on his nose, I believe. So he'll leave. Stromer will come in. That's like hitting K.J. Adams, though, for Kansas. I'm going to say that a Mark Jack, or who is it, McCollum? Yeah. His hand is going to be sore than uh, Anton's <laughs> nose, I guarantee you. Today's broadcast of the second round of the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament on the Westwood One NCAA Radio Network is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Nolan Hickman staying in the game. You touched on it, hit a big three to answer a Kansas bucket early in the second half. He gets his shot rejected here. Greg missed the putback try, low right. But he was fouled with 2.11 to go and will shoot two. Yeah, Nolan Hickman was the man whose offense steadied the Zags for a good chunk of the first half. And early in the second half, when they blew this open, it was Nolan Hickman's offense that I thought showed the way. Uh, good indication of how well Gonzaga has played as I'm kind of looking at the stats trying to figure out who to pick for player of the game There's like six candidates that many players have played well for the Zags. Greg is one of them. He's at the line Went six for six from the floor hit a couple threes Hickman seven of ten three for three from three second free throw No good, but it's poked out to Nemhart. He'll slow it down and bring it back near midcourt Two-minute mark Nemhart on the step back thought about the shot and turned it over Here's Harris in the open floor, gives it up, and a slam in transition by Jackson. There have not been many fast break points for the Jayhawks this game. 145 remaining, and Gonzaga going to start to empty the bench. Hickman just dribbling it in between the circles with 10 to shoot, minute 30 on the game clock. EK, middle of the lane. Kick out Hickman. Three is up. No good. Rebound EK. They want him to kick it back out, but he goes up for the shot. Hits it on the left baseline, plus he's fouled. 86-64. Gonzaga with 125 remaining. And Gonzaga empties its bench. Kansas will do the same with 125 to go. Tell you what, Braden Huff quietly really gave them some good minutes when EK got in foul trouble in the first half. He and Greg did a really good job inside for Mark Few. Joe Few checking into the game, Mark Sun here for the final minute 25. Joe is definitely going to score in this game, Mr. Pash. <laughs> he wants it, the family wants it, but we'll see what happens here with EK at the line. He got it, and now he'll come out. What a performance by the Zags. The five-seed Bulldogs leading the four-seed Kansas, 87-64, just outside a minute to play. Jackson between the circles, throws to the left wing. McDowell puts up the triple, too strong. Krinovich with a rebound for Gonzaga. Krinovich played well at the end of the uh, Long Beach State game. Sanford, but the, oh, you're right. Me. They Sanford needed him yeah. in that game, too. Yeah, exactly. He turns it over here with 102 on the clock. Kansas ball. Doesn't matter who comes out of Indianapolis. It's going to be an excellent team. Number one, Purdue, or number eight, Utah State. But they are going to have their hands full with this Gonzaga team. Layup is good on the left of the rim by Jackson. 87-66. Gonzaga, 45 seconds left. Well, the dinners have been fun, my friend, but it will be Gonzaga eating really well tonight. Whatever they're serving, it'll taste awfully good as the Gonzaga Bulldogs are on their way to their ninth consecutive Sweet 16. Be home in uh, Spokane early enough if they want to to watch the uh, two games in Spokane tomorrow. Jackson fouled for Kansas with 32.6 seconds left. Gonzaga 89, Kansas 66, Purdue or Utah State will await Kansas Friday in Detroit in the Midwest Regional Semifinal. I'm reading my bracket right. It's going to be San Diego State and Yale and Grand Canyon in Alabama. 
in Spokane tomorrow. Grand Canyon with an upset win yesterday. Jackson missed the first free throw. That's the other half of our West bracket that will be joining uh, Arizona and either Clemson or Baylor in Los Angeles. That'll be Thursday when Arizona plays. Jackson hits the free throw. He'll come out. 32.6 seconds left in this one. 89-67 Gonzaga leads. Well, Marco Jackson played much better today. Well, Bill Self, such a phenomenal coach, but... Boy, without Kevin McCuller, it, it was hard enough as it, as it is this year for Kansas to win, but you lose your leading score. And Dickinson was not 100%, there's no question. Yep. Again, you can't take anything away from the way Gonzaga played today. Oh. Gonzaga destroyed him in the second half. Long two on the way, no good. Rebound Kansas with eight seconds left. Actually trailed by one at the half. And just blitzed him early in the second half. One second left. They're going to call a foul with eight tenths of a second to go. A one and one with uh, eight tenths of a second left. Bill Self and Mark Few were heading towards each other to uh, shake hands and congratulate and commiserate. And, uh, unfortunate whistle. So McDowell at the line for a one and one. 89 67 Gonzaga leads. And the first free throw is good. One more coming. So Kansas barely survived in round one. Gonzaga was up 23 at halftime against McNeese. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Gonzaga, the game is over. Think how hard this is to do, especially in this day and age in the NCAA tournament. Nine straight sweet 16s for Mark Few and the Gonzaga Bulldogs. They beat Kansas 89-68. The only problem that Mark Few and Gonzaga has is they make it look too easy. They do it year in and year out. People have come to expect it. It is just so impressive, the excellence that that program has established in Spokane. And a players change. A lot of things have changed over the years. In the last 20 years, the most important thing has not changed. Mark Few at the helm of the Bulldogs. And these were two dominant performances against a McNeese team that a lot of people picked in a 12-5 upset. They obliterated them in round one and did the same to Kansas in the second half. That was as good of a half against a good team as we've seen in the tournament so far with Gonzaga 